what's going on guys i'm back and i know it's been a while since i posted a video and i do want to let you guys know um that i do appreciate those that have subscribed and even though i haven't been really posting i've still gained a little bit of followers um or subscribers and i do want to say that i appreciate your support and i just wanted to make a quick video just to kind of touch bases on why i haven't been posting and what the plans are with both of the cars that i have um, the reason why i haven't really been posting is because about two months ago i ended up having a wrist injury that prevented me from doing a lot of things for about almost two weeks um, i really had no strength in it um, and with that being my right hand which is the hand that i use the most um, I ended up having to kind of take things easy and I just pretty much went to work and came back home and didn't really do anything um, just because I wasn't able to do much. And um, also um, the, the injury came from because I just recently started exercising again more fluently and I, I guess I might have done something incorrectly. I might have um, put the weight down in a different in a way that I wasn't supposed to. But anyways, after that, uh, maybe about three weeks later or two weeks later, um, I ended up going into the whole process of moving and it might have been three weeks after the injury. Uh, the other reason why I haven't really been posting anything about the car is just because at some point within the last two months, I had thoughts of selling the car and going a different direction. and. The car is currently still for sale. It's going to be listed for another three weeks. And uh, I get back from vacation. I'm actually going in about two weeks, I think. And then I'll be gone for a week. And then after that, if there's really no interest, I'm just going to take all the ads down and I'm just going to keep the car. So the plans with the car, there's really nothing wrong with the car. Um, but I'm really, as much as I would like to focus on performance, uh, I realize that I'm, I don't really actually use it like that. I love having a 335, um, and there's nothing wrong with it. But And it's nice to know that if I ever do want to get more power out of the car, you know, the potential is there. But at the moment right now, I just, I would like to focus on appearance. So my plans with the car is I've been looking at either getting the car wrapped, maybe going and trying the liquid vinyl, which apparently you can kind of, you get, you're supposed to get the same finish as if, you know, actual paint. Or third, um, I spoke with a friend of mine that he's actually, he said he would help me paint it. All I have to do is take care of the prep work. So, um, that's pretty much where I'm at with the car. I still have some things that I've purchased for the car that would. I haven't really put on the car because I'm not happy with, I want the paint to be perfect. It's not perfect, it's not terrible. I could probably just get away with painting the repainting the front bumper, which it needs, and then maybe the hood because there's a few rock chips on there. I mean, the car, it's uh, eight years old and the car was driven on the highway a lot before me and most of the models that i put on the car were on the highway so you know as much as i try to avoid you know tailgating cars eventually every now and then i get stuck behind certain cars and obviously over time you're going to generate rock chips and also the bumper had been repainted before so i don't think it was actually painted too well because i guess it's chipping easy so that has to be taken care of and then it has a little imperfections all around the body um, not too many but things that i'm picky and i'll notice so i want to get the whole car taken care of completely and then that way i can get everything else on the car i bought a set of wheels because i ended up selling the set that i had on the car i might regret it i might not um i realized that the front the rears the rears should fit the fronts do not fit uh, the fronts are actually an inch more aggressive than what i thought they were whenever i purchased them the guy said that they were nine and a half and but some of the hardware from, from the wheel tends to rub on the caliper and also the inner barrel is hitting the coilover so 
I'll have to run a uh, I'm thinking a 10 millimeter spacer and once I do that the wood's gonna stick out further even more so I have to figure out what I'm gonna be doing with that either I'm gonna be downsizing and a smaller lip or a smaller barrel whichever I can find if not then I would like to get a either the hard motorsport kit or the Street Fighter LA wide body kit um, so if anybody knows who to contact to get a hookup because I mean obviously I know who to contact to purchase them but I'm broke I'm not well I'm not broke but I'm on a budget and that's one of the things I would love to have but at the moment it's really out of my reach so probably the best bet for me right now would be to source a smaller lip or a smaller barrel and then kind of making it work like that because I got the wheels for a good price and even after doing the um, the work on the wheels which they also have to be repowder coated I'm still gonna be way under of what the retail value of those wheels are so yep um, that's pretty much it on the updates and I don't want to make this video too long so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it here and if there's anything else I will be posting more hopefully soon um, the other reason why I wasn't posting was because the computer that I was using before just kind of got too overwhelmed with things in it and it wasn't built for you know any kind of editing so now that I have another computer it's a lot easier and I'm more motivated to put out more videos so I'll try to work on that and yeah I'll keep you guys updated on, on the Celica it's still a daily driver I didn't make a video on it in English I have a video that's in Spanish but that's gonna be it's probably gonna stay stock for a really long time um, i really want to focus on the on the bmw first because i would like to make a show this season if i do end up keeping it so that's my main focus at the moment right now and then later on down the road i'll probably try to do some things to the celica just because it's it's a reliable car but i would like to make it look a little bit better but yeah guys, thank you for watching and thank you for the new subscribers and um, yep, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.